Uh, my name is uh, Olivier Van Pee. Um, I'm the managing director of Nyanza Evergreen Waterways. Um, today we are in the cabin of uh, MV Vanessa. Um, as you can see right next to us we have MV Natali. MV Natali is uh, our newest addition to the fleet of Nyanza. Uh, it has arrived in Uganda just last week, is when we put it in the water in Jinja. Um, we are in the process of uh, doing the licensing and the insurance for this boat. So for the time being, we are only using MV Vanessa. Um, this, is, uh, this is a boat that has uh, two times 500 horsepower. Um, it is fitted with all the latest uh, safety, safety measures um, <coughs> and um, international safety, safety uh, precautions. Um, this includes uh, fire extinguishers, um, uh, li life jackets, there's a safety raft on top of the boat. Uh, this is only in case of great emergency, if let's say the boat had to be evacuated, there's a, there's a safety raft on top that can hold the full capacity of the boat, which is 56 passengers. Um, we take, uh, we take uh, 54. Uh, guests and the rest of, of the people are, are from are from the crew of the boat. Um, this brings us to the systems that we use. Uh, we have GPS system, we have sonar system, there's a, there's a radio, there's flares also. Uh, the boat is fitted also with a, with a big light on top so it can navigate at night without any issues. Um, and uh, it has a uh, it has an anchor, so all the, all, all the safety precautions are, are, are taken very seriously and it's a closed cabin boat. That means that even when the lake is rough or it's raining, people are very safe inside. They can just close the windows, enjoy the AC, watch a movie inside, have a cold drink from, from, our, from our fridge and, uh, and bring all of their luggage. Lu lu luggages. We have enough space uh, both uh, under the deck and at the back of the boat. Um, so we use uh, both boats to mostly bring people to, to Kalangala. Um, on the weekends, every Friday, uh, we have a rotation going from Entebbe Waterfront Club, where we are today, bringing our guests to, to Kalangala. Um, the guests usually spend the whole weekend there. On Saturday, we go island hopping. Uh, the most famous one is Virgin Islands. Uh, where you've got different activities of people going to eat fish, do archery, uh, do, do, do some, some hikes. Um, and this is a ple pleasurable day experience for families and for friends and for, for, for companies, for especially for company re 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 retreats. Um, in this boat, you are able to move all of the seats in a way where people can be facing each other and have some tables. This is good also for for um, for re receptions, people that want to have dinners, people that want to to have uh, small conferences also can be held on on, on on the boat. And our main target is basically to to show people the beauties that we have on our Lake Victoria. Um, we are the country. Uh, around the Lake Victoria that has the biggest part of it and we are the ones who use it the less. Uh, this is something that will definitely have to change. Uh, the perception of, of people in Uganda has been, um, has been, uh, has been hit because of, of the previous accidents that we are still going to be operating uh, between here and Kalangala during the weekends. Most people, they like to use the boats on the weekends, so we found a challenge where when we were taking people to Kalangala, other people that wanted to use the boat for private charters, we were not able to accommodate for their needs. So now MV Natali is going to be, um, it's going to be used mostly for, 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 pri for private hires. And then next year we are, we are still in the optic of, of starting a route to Jinja. Jinja is still, is still, is still a, an area where we see a lot of potential um, and, uh, and we want to open up that, that possibility for, 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 for people in Uganda in general. We want, we want to show that uh, we, we have an amazing lake 
we have beautiful islands on it. We even have places like Jinja, which are not even an island, but can be reached by, by, by boat. Why sit in the traffic when you can just enjoy a cold drink uh, while, while you're in the seat? And there's amazing scenery. This is, um, this is yes, it's a, it's, a, it's a business to bring people from A to B, but it's also an experience. We want people to go on our back deck to see the beauties of Uganda after the Murchison Bay, the fishing villages, the nature around it is simply beautiful and this is what we want to bring this is what we want to bring closer to people. For other things, we have time for the bar and time for all these places. The truth is that we are missing out on opportunities. If you're not exposed to these things, you'll never understand how to invest in them. Uh, first we want to thank the you know the the you know, guys who put in money, the, the Van Peas, the guys who are putting the money to invest in this boats, uh, MV, Vanessa, and MV Natalia. These guys are opening the water bodies for us as a country. As a country, we probably miss about 60 to 60 billion dollars a year of unutilized water bodies because we fear water. But I think it's time for us to start engaging our children. If we fear, let's engage our children, let them learn how to swim early, let them not have fear for water. When you fear stuff, you will never exploit them. If you fear lions, you will never send clients to, to see the lions. Yet, there's an opportunity in those, in those places. Uganda's opportunity lies in exploitation of our natural resources, including water bodies. Now, for those who are out there, um, take advantage of these water bodies. Come and enjoy them over the weekends. These guys do charters, they do birthday, those who have birthday parties over the weekend or during the week for their kids. Uh, you can actually go to different islands if you hire it. Uh, if you hire their boats, now they have two, which makes it much, much easier. But over the weekends, Fridays, they leave for Cesar Islands, they come back on Sunday, they've made it more flexible. I remember when I used to go to Cesar Islands, I had to leave by 1, arrive there by 5 p.m. on Friday, and then by 8 on Sunday, you're out of the place. Now you can leave early on Friday, come back late on Sunday, which means you enjoy three full days in Sese Islands, uh, specifically uh, Bugala Islands. Sese Islands is a group of islands called, um, the group of islands you have four, 84 in number. Um, the largest of them is called um, Bugala, where, Sese, where the headquarters Kalangala is. The second largest is called Bukasa, uh, where you want to find the waterfalls. I have been to about 40 or 50 of those islands and I've enjoyed them. So for Ugandans who are sitting in Kampala and you don't even, you have never been to an island, I'm telling you, you have a problem. Me, my dream now is to see at least uh, 80 of those 84 islands before, you know, God takes me away. Uh, I want to enjoy my own country. And if we don't enjoy this country, we, in, we intend to mix politics with our country. The politicians are different from our country. This country is much more beautiful. It gives us life, it gives us food to eat, it gives us water bodies, it gives us good weather. God has blessed us and we need to be able to enjoy what God has blessed us with. But the truth is that we need products and these are the products we're talking about. When you have Boats like um, MV Vanessa, MV Natalia, you are having an opportunity for something to sell. So if you're Ugandan who is interested, who is in tourism, you can now work out deals with the guys who run these boats and create itineraries that specifically fit your client. And I know that they're going to start a very um, clear trip to Jinja. I can imagine just leaving Kapala or leaving Entebbe um, uh, and enjoying your trip to the to, 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 to Jinja and then coming back in the evening uh, instead of being in jump for four hours from Kampala now to, to go to Jinja, you're much better off you jumping on the express highway built by the government and then you arrive here in Entebbe and take your trip to Jinja, come back after this.